And you're with Martine on that Macquarie FM, the new 97.3. And as promised, I have with me the very lovely Gary Little, all the way from up the road. It's lovely That's to have a, a local person. It is so good to yeah. uh, coming down here on a beautiful day on the yes, lake. Yes, yeah, isn't it gorgeous? Did you come down Swansea Way? I come down, no, I didn't come no. down Swansea Way. You went, yeah, well, make sure you go back up Swansea Way. Go over the bridge. It is absolutely gorgeous. Swansea. I love Swansea. your accent. Oh, do you? There we go. How do you say it? Swansea. Oh, yeah. yes. It's my UK in me. I, I, you can certainly tell that okay. you've got a, uh, uh, come from the UK. Yes. There you go. There you go. You've guessed it. Lots yes. of people can't guess where it, where it comes from. Um, but I'll tell you what, I've, I've been flicking through um, my copy of Shattering the Pain Myth. What a fantastic book. Um, how you can live a pain-free life now. This is a hot topic at the moment, pain. Pain, absolutely, mm. especially with the uh, medication and uh, mm. um, the addiction to uh, pain medication. Oh, absolutely. It's costing, um, I, I don't know the figures, but it's costing our, um, not, not just our medical management system, but mm. Medicare, and but our society, I mean, do you know the... The figures on my I've own. heard one just because of um, lost time injuries and mm. uh, um, uh, work mm. is uh, 35 billion Australia. Billion? Billion, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, I mean, not only is it affecting the individual with pain, it's affecting their family. Absolutely. Their ability to work and function as yeah. normal. Yeah. Um, I, I find when dealing with people who are injured or have uh, a, a disability um, or an illness, coming into pain, uh, dealing with pain, trying to um, work out their new identity. They're not, they're not the dad and the husband who can mow the lawn anymore. Yeah, you know, and what that absolutely. does to someone's identity, their mm -hmm. self-esteem, um, you know, having, having to sit there, take painkillers and watch their wife do the heavier work that they traditionally would have done. It can be really soul destroying. It absolutely is. And mm. there's so many relationship breakdowns because of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And not just marriage relationships. Mm. I mean, it, it, it then breaks down, you know, within society and work as well. So tell me, what, what got you into this? into this great story. I've been mm. in the industry for about 30 years mm. and uh, started off with all the uh, natural therapies, massage and uh, done some work on um, uh, sports injuries. And, and I've always wanted to um, um, not only get rid of the problem over a period of time, I wanted to find out why is it there in the first place. Then Absolutely. I, mm. um, I'm privileged to uh, work with some um, um, athletes and work internationally and being in that environment, I'm thinking it's the same thing. It's um, with just the public and um, with um, working with athletes. Mm. So I've always looked at, uh, there's always a stress pattern within the physical body. So my whole search is, okay, what is causing that physical uh, stress pattern? Mm. And um, that's one of the things that uh, when I combined physical understanding and, and the emotional side, how emotions and physical uh, the physical body interact. That's mm. when I uh, realised mm. these have a major impact. Mm. This is this is. Um, I mean, this is not new stuff. This is what people have been talking about for many years, yes. um, trying to connect the two together. But how well we connect those two together? Some people do it quite well, yeah. and they're people that you don't see. <laughs> Absolutely. And a, a lot of people yeah. um, are still on their journey, on their search. Yeah. To, to to the next therapy to the next that didn't work the next therapy the next therapy um to try and find it there seems to be a bit of a, a search and some people are quite panicked about it absolutely yeah i i call, I call this a uh, therapy uh, go round. and um <laughs> yeah. one thing that uh, when we it is very uh, obvious in the science saying that uh, emotions have an impact on our physical body mm. but how do we own that mm. one of the things that i see is the outside world is um, we blame the outside world yeah, yeah. and we look at uh, we have to look at within ourselves how we digest emotions how we uh, uh, face challenges which we mm. all do mm. and uh, so once we understand that we can have more uh, ownership of dispersing uh, the mm. physical pain yeah goodness me i saw a, a funny quip the other day and it said uh, wh whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger or at least gives us some really poor coping mechanisms and bad habits 
And I think that that's what we yeah. often land Absolutely. back on, isn't it? That, yeah. uh, you know, we, we do things that, um, that don't work, but we keep doing them and doing yes. them. It's because of conditioning. Mm. And uh, one thing, I, I was a Pilates instructor and, I, and uh, I, we did a lot of core stability and we did a lot of stretching and yet we've got all these uh, modalities and yet pain and injuries is um, not getting any better. Mm -hmm. And so we've got um, all this dispersed um, information. So that is all outside of ourselves. We need to know what's happening physically. Mm. We need to know what's happening emotionally within in ourselves. When we do that, majority of my clients' pain drops away, including mm. disc problems, and, mm. and uh, we think it's a physical problem. Exactly. Now, the, the medical model and the medical management of it, that's sort of our first go-to, yes. isn't it? Yes. To get diagnosed, to get investigated, yeah. um, and then to be medicated often yes. um, and and if we're lucky to be referred on to a therapist that will yeah. um, respond to the physical stuff but a lot of this emotional um, you know and, and also the coping mechanisms building resilience sure. really we don't touch on absolutely because because we are responsible for owning that no one outside mm. like uh, in your profession and um, counselling, we're always focusing on someone outside of us, fixing us, putting us into a, having a, giving us a process to override something that's going on within us. Mm. And one of the things that I found, the, the, the tolerance that we run through our day, and majority of people lie, to mm. our, we all lie to ourselves. Oh, absolutely. And that's where the biggest thing, biggest mm. thing, thing, major issue is. So when we run in these denials and, um, and tolerance in the relationships or your work or mm. finance, there's always this niggling um, um, discomfort within ourselves and that's one of the major um, areas that I find mm. um, has a major impact and creates negative energy and causes um, one of the biggest um, causes of involuntary contraction mm. within our physical body. Absolutely, yeah. And it wouldn't be just injury either that we're talking about. I mean, I would say um, having a, your, your program is um, a one-on-one -on -one where you do um, a day workshop with mm -hmm. someone. Um, and then it's 30 days after that online and, yeah. I, and I'd say you know you, mm. you have resources like this sure. book as well um, to help you through uh, and and it's a continuing journey for people but I would say it's not just the pain that um, perhaps is reduced or mm. more manageable gone gone but I would say mm. a lot of other bits in their lifestyle start working better Absolutely. And, and things fall into place yeah. for them. Actually, yeah. one of the things that uh, just as a society, we always talk about pain management. Mm. When, when we talk about pain management, it's always there. Just, mm. just a, a mindset. Like, mm. it's just saying, we can't get rid of it. Just mm. that is a mindset. Yes. So if we know why the pain is there, we can eliminate it. Mm. And uh, a lot of people uh, through my program, people believe they're broken. Yeah. And yeah. once we understand yeah. the root cause, the interaction, physical and emotional, the individual own that. Mm. And um, I've had um, clients have had, uh, actually went back in uh, your hometown, mm. um, had um, um, four hip replacements, <gasps> two major op um, back operations. Wow. Addicted to morphine. Yeah. And everyone thought he was broken. Mm. And I uh, went into the program and he's pain free. My goodness, me. And he did every single thing himself. That's amazing. That's amazing. You've worked with some, I'm going to name drop, because you work with some amazing people. Um, Pat Rafter. Um, I mean, uh, you must do the, the, the uh, tennis rounds. They must love you over there at uh, Rod Laver Arena here. Pat Rafter, M Mark Philippoussis, um, Todd Woodbridge, Leighton Hewitt, Michael Chang. Oh my goodness. Um, and they would have some some serious injuries, and they're, they're yeah. tough. They're tough people. Yeah, actually, what it's interesting when we're working with athletes. People look at athletes as a different species than say you and I. Mm. But emotionally, they're they're stronger in mm. a specific area. But physically, mm. they're just fitter, and they've mm. got a skill. Mm. So, to me, working with the athletes, and um, I realise they're the same as you and I, mm. but they're just tuned. Mm. And they have the same issues mm. as um, someone that's working day to work and um, um, typical mum or, or dad. Mm. But we put people into um, 
in boxes and like almost this. hero categories sometimes. Absolutely. And, and it's interesting you say this because I we had a very similar conversation on Saturday on the Saturday Sports Edition with Lauren Budden who um, who does our NRL wrap up, mm -hmm. and you know she was talking about the, these young players um, because there's a lot of um, you know pretty bad antics that are going on, yeah, domestic bullying. violence and so forth. It, it, it's mm. it's uh, pretty much uh, epidemic in that, um, you know, that sport at the moment and, and throughout other sports as well. But, you know, as she says, these are kids who yes. are, they're not heroes. Absolutely. They're finely tuned. Yeah. Um, have they been given, been taught how to deal with their emotions, deal with other people? Um, they might be a finely tuned athlete. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they're just like me and you, trying Absolutely. to cope in life. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And, and one thing that... Uh, uh, under, under the spotlight, absolutely. too. Absolutely. We, we always put these up on, on pedestals. And mm. uh, when we... I was working with a really well-known um, athlete that, uh, here in Australia, and uh, he had some uh, issues and um, psychological issues, mm. and, the, and the coach said, oh, we'll just send him to a psych. Mm. And so the whole... Um, understanding of this is is we need to know mm. exactly what is happening mm. within ourselves mm. because we're the only ones can change our internal hard absolutely, drive. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think when that happens, when someone gets referred to a psych, a psychologist, psychiatrist, all of a sudden they they are feeling that people are not trusting them, that things might be going on up there. Um, they don't understand the, the, the concept of, of pain mm, management, the, mm, the, the mm, traditional mm, pain mm, management, mm, and think that there might be then something really wrong with them. Emotionally they sick. Might, yes, yes. Absolutely. So now they're physically um, mm -hmm. broken, yes. dealing with it, and now they're being told, yeah. well, you're, you know, you're potentially, you're a borderline nutter <laughs> as well. Exactly. <laughs> uh, which can so be true. really, yeah, really, really detrimental. And, and it just pushes per people down even more. Mm. And uh, this is one of the things that I see in the program and why I put mm. this we need to know how, to, like, like, life has uh, become so complicated mm. and uh, uh, we have so many people to teach us how to do everything yeah. outside of ourselves. Yeah. And yet when we take ownership of mm. ourselves and responsibility and mm. understand how we think and how we feel has a major impact mm. on our physical health. Do you think generationally too, um, coming, you know, coming up and, and uh, you know, with poor old millennials get so much flack. But people our age, mm. they, they, their resilience levels are quite low, aren't they? We, yeah. we seem to have missed a lot of the, the teachings, the learnings of how to be, as you say, take responsibility, yeah. um, you know, take accountability mm. And, mm. and do the work our stuff instead of seeking yeah. um, a supermarket full of stuff. Yeah. to fix us mm, mm. we seem to, it seems to be quite generational and if we don't have those skills we're not passing it on to yeah. our kids either absolutely and and, and uh, i believe this is all coming um, uh, from um, very powerful media yeah social media social media marketing definitely. there mm. is umpteen dozen courses out there and uh, then then i i realized when i was a kid like kids now are getting disc problems and mm. getting huge um, 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 pain is, is, is becoming um, an epidemic into younger kids. The only reason the difference that is, mm. is because of stress. Mm. Kids and the bullying and, and everything mm. um, in school. So um, when you see an understanding that how emotions um, cause involuntary contraction within our physical body, mm crushes everything mm. and so our body is not functioning so that's where we have pain that's where we eventually get hip mm. and knee replacements mm. disc problems and, and this is yeah you're talking about um, uh, our environment and our emotional psychological um, yeah. uh, pain and hurt frustration all yeah. of those uh, things um, that we're perhaps not able to cope with or or mm. process yeah. in a in a positive way then manifests itself Absolutely. in our body mm -hmm. um, and it's almost very primeval it's like that flight or fight yeah. response yeah. where that with the, there is real stress out there we're yeah. not we're not saying it mm. isn't real mm. but mm. how we actually manage that and Absolutely. and and deal with that mm. and learn these coping mechanisms that perhaps I, I'm, I'm not sure I think we've missed mm -hmm. our generation I, I, I think uh, Martina one of the things that uh, because there's so much um, 
modalities out there and it's taking responsibility away of ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's been um, stated time and time again stress mm -hmm. is killing us mm -hmm. and so okay I don't deny that but the thing mm -hmm. is try and get away from stress mm -hmm. it's part of our life mm -hmm. it's a part of principles of life yes yeah. it's one thing that where we've lost it is mm -hmm. stress can be good if when we um, uh, identify for what it is Sure. and digest it yes a healthy way yes exactly and, and work out our flight or fight yes, in a productive exactly. way in a productive way um you've also worked with a, a, i mean amazing amount of uh, sports people I, i'm assuming because they do struggle with physical injuries and they need yes. to overcome that mm. um, people like uh, adam mcdougall robbie o davis luke McAllister, uh, glenn mcgrath Mm. What a great, great yeah. man. Yeah. yeah um, and, um, you know, he has had some real personal tragedies as yeah. well. So, yeah. you know, how that has affected him yeah. um, physically is, it would be really interesting. Um, w what was of interest to me was Daniel Johns yeah. up the road here from up Silver Chair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he has, re he's been diagnosed with a rheumatoid disease, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like obviously, um, I, I worked with uh, Daniel um, a number of years ago when he was younger, and uh, <laughs> well, we all were younger. Yeah, we were all younger. <laughs> but but uh, looking back, um, he had uh, obviously a lot of pressure and uh, a lot of uh, especially at an age, and mm. and it all comes back to um, how we deal with the outside world. Absolutely. Everything mm. is pulling us and, and controlling us to the mm. outside world, and yet we, within ourselves, mm. control the outside world from within, mm. the way mm. we think and the way we feel, and there's a lot of science around this now. Absolutely, absolutely. Interestingly as well, now you'll have to correct me on the name, uh, Natalia Vodinanova, the Chanel perfume supermodel. Yes. Back I, in can I guess, did she... <laughs> did she did she have foot pain from the shoe she had to wear? I don't know. I, so, no, it wasn't foot no, pain, it, it was just pain. the back problems. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so back problems are a real you know, key. Yeah, like, like actually, like, like uh, interesting, uh, um, being a Pilates instructor and like the things that we buy into, and I'm not a Pilates instructor mm. anymore, but core stability, believe, we believe that mm. core stability is the key to back pain. Mm. But you look at people with no back pain, they've got no idea about where the stomach muscles are. Absolutely. And core mm. stability now is saying that, uh, and, and I believe it, is causing more back pain mm. because of the pressure that's um, mm. within the actual um, disc area. Mm. So I was yeah. reading a really interesting article um, the other day about um, how first world countries have um, very particular illnesses, conditions, diseases that third world countries haven't got or mm. haven't caught up to yet. Absolutely. Um, right. and, and that they were talking about some specifics as well. Uh, I was also very interested in, in an article about childbirth and how medicalised we are now, it's particularly Australia, yeah. Yeah. Um, how medicalised it's becoming, how uh, frequent caesarean sections are mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. um, and how different that is to, say, in Asia, yeah. um, where, you know, it's a it, it, absolutely, um, you, you're, you're expected and, and um, you're not forced, but you're, you're expected, and that's what happens. Uh, you're nine months pregnant and you'll be still in the rice paddy, yes. you're doing some really hard physical yeah. work. And you might give birth in the rice paddy, <laughs> exactly. throw the baby on the back and yeah. keep going. You don't have, you know, mm. that, that, that kind of... Mm. So it's, it's very interesting. Of course, they, they mm. do have a high mm. mortality rate. Yeah. Many, you, yeah, know, exactly. you know, there are, there are problems with that. But it was looking at how in our first world we are really medicalising it. Absolutely. And, and maybe not for the better. Yeah, and, and you mm. go to these third world countries kids are always glowing with their white smile mm, mm. they're always happy Absolutely. despite they've mm. got nothing mm. and it's an it's the whole process we are responsible for our happiness mm. for our love within ourselves not mm. not from our partner yes. because i feel in relationships we are empty within ourselves with mm. love and appreciation of ourselves mm. then we get into a relationship that that 
um, supports what we need. Mm. And this is where um, the onset of um, dysfunctional relationships, because Absolutely. when we're not mm. getting the need from outside, mm. we, um, we um, end up uh, emotionally and physically mm. challenged. Mm. Mm. And that's the, the big thing that I see that where we need to come back to is um, understanding how we face and, and learn from the mm. challenges mm. and learn about ourselves to become the best person we possibly can. Mm, mm. You talk about the five core elements in your books and um, that, which is really great because they all begin with R, which mm -hmm. is realisation. Yeah. Um, but that would be a, quite a lot of, you know, digging in there mm. and thinking about the past and how you've dealt with things in the past and, and how you, what, what your coping mechanisms are. Yeah. I would say that would be quite heavy going to start with. Uh, relaxation, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Um, and that can be different for different people as yeah. well. So it's trying to work that out. So, yeah, you've got sometimes you've got to try things out, don't you, to see if it suits yeah. you. I, mm. I, I think um, when, when we understand the principles of life, if we don't, and this is one of the things that I find when people go to different therapies mm. and they're looking for something to, that works for them, mm. if they take the symptom away, it's not necessarily to work for them because majority of pain will drop away within three months despite any therapy. So a lot of the psychology mm. around this, we get lost mm. and we blame and we think we are, oh, it's because my pain went away because of this modality. Yeah. We're not lacking um, that modality because you look at people with no pain, mm. they're, they're not doing any mm. of this. Mm. So we're not, we're not looking at some basic questions. Mm. And, uh, and so we gotta look at what, why people uh, what they are doing with no pain. Absolutely. We're mm. not looking at that. I've no. been trained and, and, and uh, been around people that are, that are broken. Mm. So mm. how about we go and study these and mm. they're generally not um, um, doing anything different. Mm. And another thing that people think it's posture and the way we sit because of we're sitting in a chair. Mm. Well, there is absolutely zero evidence that sitting um, incorrectly and mm. your posture, there's no science. Really? Zero. There you go. And yet we've been told. Fit it, yeah, force fit it sometimes, yeah. I yeah. would say. Is that because it's a quick, easy fix? Sometimes it's that, that's it, you know, what, what you're saying there is easily printed out and put up on the workplace notice board. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. I, I, I think it's just because it's such an epidemic around the workforce. Mm. And when people, when employers understand this and, and, and it being educated, mm. it's their responsibility, it's our responsibility of how our physical body are run, is running. Yes. It's not our, our boss and, and um, our job or insurance. Mm. Um, 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 we were talking about insurance. Yes, um, workers and, and, yeah. and it's just a vicious circle. It is. Mm. And we are so pulled to the outside in every aspect mm. of our life mm. and yet, we're the only ones can change our hard drive. Mm, absolutely. One of the other elements, the third one, is rejuvenation. What's that about? I, the re rejuvenation is, is uh, obviously going into realisation, realise that mm. we're not broken and understand oh, really why, yes. why we're... Um, re rebuilding your story, isn't absolutely. it? Yes, yeah. And yeah. saying, look, I'm, I, oh, I'm not broken. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm dealing with something absolutely. serious. I've got yeah. to get the tools to deal mm. with it Properly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I've been using a hammer. I needed a wrench. Absolutely, exactly. <laughs> and and uh, one one thing that uh, you and I share in, in uh, what I teach um, the stats on scientifically proven about uh, disc problems and operations and it is scary when you mm. look at uh, mm. specific uh, research papers. Mm. Um, like just in America, two thousand and nine, mm. um, uh, the hardware that goes into a disc fusion, one year cost over two billion dollars, <gasps> just the hardware. What a huge industry! <laughs> a huge industry. <laughs> wow! And so we're mm. talking about just here in Australia, thirty-five billion dollar industry, and yet there's so many people trying to get in it, and there's mm. so many people trying to create a different story to mm. get clients and get results. But the fact is, the whole industry is getting worse. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting sicker. Absolutely. Isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, you also then talk about res resilience and relationships, and they seem to be the, the key to get you onto a, a, a better journey. 
really. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I, I think uh, resilience resilience comes from uh, we believe as the outside, we pop ourselves up, we go to the gym and do um, um, fighting and all this. It's all outside of ourselves. Mm-hmm. But one thing that I talk about is uh, relationships. Um, we only need to get one relationship right. Mm-hmm. That's it. Relationship with ourselves. Absolutely. We're so em- so keen to look at relationships with our partner. Mm-hmm. Relationships, there's so many books. But the fact is, if we get ourselves right, and then we don't react, then um, uh, loving and appreciating ourselves mm-hmm. is the fundamentals of building the foundation mm-hmm. of resilience. Yeah, yeah. It, it's coming from internal, not external. Mm-hmm. And I think as well, not, not looking at it from a quick fix, now, um, you have a workshop this Saturday between one and four at Charlestown, the place. Yes. Um, you can get onto the Facebook page, which is called... Pain Free, that's me. And it will send you to the links to, to yes. Eventbrite. Yeah. It's free, but you need tickets to yeah. get to get. And, and also it. there yeah. is a link on there um, that you can download my book for free if you are book and you can uh, download this for free yes get out yes really with, yeah. with all the um because there are some audits in there as well that yes. that, that you fill yeah. out oh, yeah. wow okay so you can download this book for free come along to the workshop mm-hmm. um and and learn from this but we can um as individuals come and knock on your door and and do one-on-one work mm-hmm. with you mm-hmm. that's that's yeah. we can do that as well yeah. Yeah. and you have an online um yeah so, so support system yeah. so basically what i what i do is i run a a, a day's workshop and a lot of that's physical and um, uh-huh. i talk about um about um every bit of pain i've had clients that have had uh, uh, disc problems for 23 years yeah. And they think they've got a disc problem, and I take them through specific exercise, engage uh, certain mm. muscles to make them longer. Mm. Pain decreases straight away, and mm. so that person is empowered. I think, okay, I haven't got a disc problem. It's mm. the muscle contraction that's causing the crushing into the joints. Mm. That's um, vertebrae or hip or knee re- um, um, problems, and the same thing. And people ask me, do I specialize in, say, back pain? Mm. And I said, no, because if I specialise in one mm, area of mm. the pain, I'm not getting to the root cause of the pain. I, I guess you're dealing with, with pain or, or, yes. or what the pain is representing. Yeah. yeah, very much so. I see my shoulder surgeon next week to talk about both my shoulders getting operated on. I reckon I might put him off. Absolutely. I'm not recommending this for everyone, but I, I am, I, I got a, a, a lot of fear about going in for shoulder surgery, um, apart from the fact that then you you can't drive for weeks, I've got five kids, you know, yes. <laughs> it goes on and on and mm. on, who wants it? Yeah. Um, but if I can navigate that yes. without having to look at that surgical option, which is often on the, the first on, on, on the menu, isn't it? Absolutely. That's on tray. The question to me, I, like, mm. I'm going to spend time with you after off air. Yes. The question is, uh, what is causing your shoulder problem? Mm. If you can't identify um, any um, blow to the body and you've just mm. got shoulder or neck pain, yes, it is not a physical problem. There you go. Mm. And we believe, mm. like people, um, like, like oh, I've injured, mm. I, I've injured myself. Mm. Well, what, what was the blow or what's the fall? Mm. Mm. Oh, I didn't have any. And mm. so we think we've injured ourselves. And that is not right. Mm. Our muscle contraction is locked into uh, involuntary contraction unknowing to us. Mm. Then we bend over and pick up a piece of paper off the floor. <laughs> Absolutely. And a back goes. Yes, the back goes. So we yeah. blame mm. the piece of paper mm. or we need to bend and teach. We going in corporate, I did some work in corporates in the UK and they're running courses on teaching people how to pick up a darn piece of paper off the floor. <laughs> Okay, yeah. And so so you're crazy. going back a few steps then. And, yeah. and oh, almost uh, injury prevention. I'd say a lot of people are coming to you because they're in pain. Mm. Um, but a lot of the stuff you're talking about is preventative stuff that we really should be taught absolutely. a while ago. Yeah. To it, prevent all of this. Absolutely. Mm. You, you never see teenagers when we're younger. Mm. Um, we didn't have pain. We didn't have disc problems. Mm. And, we didn't have, and you, you look at them now. Yes, and, absolutely. And so we, um, uh, when we get older in our 20s, we are fully developed, mm. but we have pain. And when we're a teenager, we don't have pain. Absolutely. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, 
Yeah, very interesting. Uh, I can't wait to come along on Saturday to uh, the event. I'll get onto Facebook and I will book my tickets. It's free. I can download my free uh, um, edition of the book. And uh, do you know what? I'm, I'm ringing you up as well and making a one-on-one -on -one appointment. In fact, I might bring the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> can I do that? Because it is something that really does... Um, uh, affect all of us Absolutely. and if it affects one of you in the family or in the workplace mm. wherever you are in your sporting community yeah. um, it affects everyone yeah. I mean the, the ripple effect is, is there so yeah, it's important absolutely. that we, we sort that out. Well thank you so much for, uh, for telling us what is going on. Uh, it's not a quick fix, it's not uh, downing a bottle of pills which uh, uh, are in itself a problem. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. What, 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 the big thing that I really love, what I do, is taking people from physical into emotional, um, is to see their whole life change. Yeah. Because once we get ourselves right, everything else outside of us, we can, ch we can um, uh, handle the challenges yeah. and we become the best person we possibly Absolutely. can. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining me My this pleasure. morning. It's it been was... wonderful. I'm going to give you Dire Straits Walk of Life because I reckon that's what you're talking about. Fantastic. Thank <laughs> you. I love that song. Thanks so much, Gary. Chat soon. Beautiful. Thank you.